Turn now to news overnight about more layoffs at Amazon. 18,000 jobs. Our chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, joins us to break down what the cuts mean for the job market and the economy. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to you, Robin. And Amazon is one of the largest employers in the country, and they announced, as you say, overnight that they will cut more than 18,000 jobs. Salesforce also announcing its plans to eliminate 10% of its staff, impacting over 7,000 employees. And they both join a long list of tech companies, including Netflix, Facebook parent Meta, and Lyft, who started laying off employees last year. And there's a reason that so far this has mostly impacted the tech industry. These companies supercharged their hiring during the pandemic, envisioning a future where consumers would act the same, spend the same, and want to buy the same stuff, even if they were no longer stuck at home. And that is not the case, as you probably know as you're watching this. So far, we have not seen a major spillover impact into the broader economy. Jobs in other industries haven't suffered, but that's something that we're going to be watching for when the government releases its monthly jobs report tomorrow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.